Hi, this is Amy of Master Stretch, and today I'm going to give you three simple knee exercises to help with that knee pain. If you feel like my channel, please subscribe to it by clicking right here. Okay, so what you're going to need uh, is potentially a block or a step, like a step stool or something like that, um, but maybe not. So um, we're going to go into one, it's going to help strengthen uh, the muscles around the knee, which is very, very important to help prevent knee pain and also stretch it at the same time. So we're going to use the Kihara resistance stretching method and stretch those muscles right uh, above the knee. So go ahead and lie down in, on your back. You're going to place one leg on top of the other. This is, we call it the knee pump. Uh, exercise. If you want to bring your uh, hands behind your thigh, you can do that as well. So um, point the toes up of the bottom foot, place the other leg uh, foot on top of the ankle joint of the bottom leg, and we're going to just extend that bottom leg up. Not all the way, about three quarters of the way. Bring it back down. And the, the top foot just acts as a weight. So we're adding a little resistance. So we're starting to strengthen. You might start to feel the muscles right in here. Turn on and activate. We're going to do that one more time. And then resist. So you're going to play a little tug of war. As you bring that foot, bottom foot, back down and go as much range of motion as you can that you feel no pain. Um, down so you start to feel a little stretch in this area and then kick it back up and repeat that two more times. This one might get your leg a little shaky. Good. Okay. Switching legs. <clears throat> All right, and then we're just going to push up. So it's up on that bottom foot. Again, up. Up. Now go into the stretch. So you're going to play a little tug of war and come on down for each motion. And then back up. One more time. Good. Okay. So hopefully that was a different angle that you could see that. Now it's also very important to have strong hamstrings to help prevent knee pain. And we're going to do another Kihara resistance stretch. It's hamstring stretch that helps strengthen and stretch um, the hamstring out at the same time. So you're just going to step forward. And if you need extra cushion on the, the back knee, go ahead and do that. Step forward, walk that foot for, uh, a little bit in front of the knee. You're going to, whoop, if you need something to hold on to for balance, feel free to do that. <laughs> and then push down with your foot, contract the hamstring and pull your body forward towards your foot. Relax and repeat. Again, we always activate the muscle first, make sure it's working, and then stretch it out. So one more time there. Now keep pushing down with the foot, extend the hips back, and you're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. So you're gonna feel um, probably a lot of tension behind the knee. This is a very, very common area of tension. So if you, that can contribute to knee uh, pain. So double duty, you're strengthening the hamstring with this stretch, but also stretching out um, the tension. And watch that your hips don't go like I was, Shoot my hips to the left, so keep your hips center. And go one more time. Again, keeping the resistance the whole time. Good. And switch that. Contract, pull forward. Relax, repeat. One last time. Okay, keep the pressure and then start to straighten and pull 
out of that strong. Keep the resistance the whole time. So we're moving in and out of the stretch with tension. And one more time. So these are really two really great exercises for knee uh, strength and reducing pain. And now the next one we're going to do uh, specifically is strengthening exercise to strengthen the muscle right on the inside of the knee. So this is where you may need a step or a block, but probably just start with, with um, nothing. Okay, so if you're starting out, just start on your floor. You're going to turn your foot slightly out. It's going to target this muscle right here, uh, right above the knee on the inside. If you need to hold on, hold on for stability. Um, and you're going to let the knee go over the toe and then contract that muscle and lift up. So it's very important to feel this muscle turning on. And because we just did those stretches, it should turn on very easily. If you're not feeling this muscle turn on, you're not going to dip as low. So you're going to shorten the range of motion until you start to feel that um, muscle turn on. If you experience any pain, again, you're going to back off on the range of motion. I'm going to do what you can. And holding on really helps stabilize and direct your attention to that area inside the knee. So do 10 to 20, start on the side that is weaker, and then switch sides. So you just wanna turn that foot out slightly, let the knee go over the toe, and then up. So actually that is not necessarily a bad thing, letting the knee go over the toe to help strengthen this muscle right here. So for me, my left side is weaker, I don't feel it working, that muscle working as easily as I do on the right side. I can keep my balance a little bit better on the right side than the left side. <clears throat> Sometimes my knee actually catches, so it feels a little weak on the left side. So I have to really be cautious with those exercises and knowing when to limit our range of motion and when not to. So again, do 10 to, 10 to 20 and then work your way up to multiple sets of that. And that should get, have your knees feeling really good. So if you like that video, like this video and it helps you, give me a, a like, um, leave a comment, share it with somebody that uh, has knee complaints about knee pain. <laughs> and then if you like this one, you're going to love the next video. So check out that video at the end of the, or right here, <laughs> or at the end screen, you can click on that video. So thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now.